This episode is sponsored by Caribbean Dance Sport, October the 31st through November the 4th, 2018. Yes, we can make Puerto Rico great again. So I am back with the infamous Mr. Slavic Kriklivy. Exactly. Well, cheers, man. And we are going to discuss more about the amateur Latin at the New York Dance Festival. So the Americans had the uh, majority of the top three, but they didn't win. Uh, Joel and Christina won every dance, and I believe they are from Spain. So maybe you'll be able to educate me about this young couple. Well, I um, cannot say I'm very familiar with them because I only really noticed them for maybe for the past two years. And um, there was a times when I was not really good judge for them because it's kind of similar situation with uh, with Tal because he this this guy he's very strong and powerful and like I said before when there is excess of energy it can kill the movement it can uh, doesn't have a natural movement what I like about him he is very masculine very masculine uh, man on the floor, he produced very, very strong uh, persona, masculine persona. And uh, she is very feminine, feisty, strong and <laughs> feisty girl. And so the couple, I like, I, I like the combination. They are very matching, and um, both of them very powerful dancers, powerful and the energy, the emotional energy, physical energy. And like before, I was as well, for me, it was a little bit too much. Sometimes mm -hmm. I wish to see m more sensitivity in the movement, more sense the body and, and uh, uh, the energy input a little bit more, say, right, enough. Just right, uh, right amount so you can see the movement and not the pure power. And um, I find as well, they are very calming down. They find in their ways, they try to uh, more study and learn from their teachers, which is Hans Galke. And um, I can see a lot of changes in them, I can see. But like, for example, today, I, uh, as a judge, I was uh, I gave them three dances, rhythmical dances, uh, cha-cha, samba and drive, and uh, rumba and paso, uh, not, I gave them second, and the reason is because I thought maybe the way is they used, uh, particularly maybe in him, that's what I'm picturing myself and the moment when I saw it, and I, maybe like a leg action, the way transfer, the usage of the body during that I, I felt a little bit it should be a little bit more structured more defined more clear uh, and not about so much of the energy and power of the upper part of the body and uh, same time very they were a passionate dancer I like that very much so Paso for me was a little bit maybe as well not as grounded enough maybe jump a little bit i felt uh, it's subtle but um, still i wish to be more have a stillness more have a how you use the body and and the, and the uh, energy together with the ground with the floor so it's very united and then very strong stability not so it's okay when you stand, but when you start, uh, people start to walk and do some steps. How you can see in that moment of the transfer in weight, what's going on mm -hmm. when people are really understand the characterization or they just uh, going for the steps. But um, yeah, I wish a little bit of more of that. So, yeah, and like in pass or more sense of generally the movement of the body the the gesture the meaning of that a little bit be more referential yeah. well maybe this, this maybe this young spaniard needs to come to the u.s to learn how to dance paso, <laughs> paso. <laughs> but actually it's 
very funny. I've been in Spain teaching a few times and uh, I remember that I was speaking about pasta and I was like, guys, I'm very sorry. I'm coming to Spain. I'm Ukrainian and I do have to teach you how to do a pasta. It's the same when I uh, go to China, for example, and um, I teach people how to breathe and uh, how to use the gravity and the body weight when all the Tai Chi, Qigong, all the energy work from the martial arts move to the dancing, it's from China. And I'm like, seriously, I'm European, I'm uh, European. Uh, uh, East Europe, European, Ukrainian, and I'm, and I, you uh, have to teach Chinese how to breathe. I'm like seriously, something wrong going on in the world. Soon in Siberia gonna be a palm trees. <laughs> Actually, there may be palm trees in Siberia pretty soon. Yeah, for sure. And all the snow and bears gonna move uh, to Miami. <laughs> uh, some of them already have. Um, Slavic, it, it's been great fun talking to you about this, so uh, thank you so much. And guys, um, once again, I'm glad you made a long trip uh, from Spain, so good result for you. Very, very good result. What I like about them, they're very passionate about the dancing and very serious. And as well, it's um, Probably this trip, I a little bit more changed my mind about them because before I used to think a little bit uh, on a kind of light side, not mm -hmm. taking serious stuff and just whatever. But actually, I realized they are more deeper than I thought before. So it's always nice to find out that because, I mean, we are judges, we have to put the mark down. But an important that uh, people have to understand, even if your pork mic not really nice the way you like, but uh, it's not about I like you or I don't like you or they just or they don't. It's about comparison mm -hmm. and to stay true to our dancing and to make dancing better because we are. V it's very important job to to produce, let's say, results uh, that the good dancing stays forever so people can follow good dancing and not to give and uh, make result for the people who produce some quality which you don't believe for example which is not really should be there because then the majority of the people will follow that this is very dangerous because we have to protect uh, our style the characterization of every dance and it has to be more, more taken serious. It's very, very important. Every move, every mark you do, it's, it's very important. And it's difficult. I find it's very difficult to judge because I am, I'm still considering myself as a beginner, judge beginner. And because every time after I put marks, I'm thinking about for, for, for a week and if I did the right job. And of course you can be very blind and very careless and say oh, whatever I put it, forget it. Yes, but I, because every mark is, um, it's bring the results and every results will bring you where is the dancing go, gonna, going for. Because then people will follow that, that style, that, uh, so it's very, it's very dangerous if you do uh, your job is wrongly and or careless then all the style and everything, the quality will go down. It will go to somewhere wrong direction. This is very important. Latin should stay Latin. It's not ballet, it's not contemporary dance, it's not popping. It's still Latin. There should be a gravity, there should be a, a, two bodies, two personalities, more women and men. This is the most important and the uh, bodies and the gravity there should be and breathing there should be a relationship between and the most important how could i forget about it is the music oh you mean you can't dance off time or uh... well off time it's like okay make your feet more on time uh but bodies as well to be musical and rhythmical and characteristic to the sound and the energy of the music, what you hear. So, I mean, 
all those ingredients uh, should be there forever and we have to protect that because if not then we're gonna have something uh, I don't know some freestyle <laughs> yeah. can't have freestyle can we Slavic you would never have done that it's good but it's still in, it should be in a character in the mode where we are what we do you cannot swim without the water and play tennis without the ball and, and racket so we should have women and the music and on that note I, I don't think I could say anymore hey you know some man as I say I've known you for I've known of you for maybe 20 years now never spoken to you I don't dance so long it's 20 years is too long uh, you have Six, seven. <laughs> but but the passion that you just portrayed when you were talking about that hey off the floor on the floor hey i'll respect thank you very much cheers. Cheers. thank you so much anything that you need to know about dancing in the us and certain other places in this world please log on to www.dancebeat.com and once again slavic thank you very much for taking the time to come and uh, talk to me on my microphone cheers guys bye bye this episode is sponsored by caribbean dance sport october the 31st through november the 4th 2018 yes we can make puerto rico great again